All right, guys. Today I want to talk to you about regrets. Who has some? Giving my heart to Jesse just to have it crushed like the stage floor at performance of Stomp. Thinking, trust me, it was a sensible birth control option. We all have them. I just finalized my divorce. I regret living in a relationship that wasn't working. Letting her put me in these deep funks and not fighting back. Besides creeping us out, why are you telling us this? Because if we lose the vocal adrenaline at regionals, none of us are going to regret it. We will have given it our best shot and we won't look back. But we will regret letting them get the best of us before the competition, which is why we need to hit them back just like they hit us. So you want us to TP their choir room? Whatever the better, cooler version of that is. Like, uh, maybe, maybe we should steal their school statue. Their school statue is a giant bronze of a great white shark eating a seal pup. It weighs three tons. OK, well, how about this one? All right, we get like Everyone knows this is going to come down to me. Everything on it. Revenge, everything fear, on it. the merciless infliction of pain. These are my kingdoms. First time I gave a wedgie to a kid, I was four years old. Finn and I may still hate each other for some reason, but we both know that defending the honor of New Directions is going to be our dirty job. Yeah, I did it, and I'm proud. All I did was step up and be a man. They got what was coming to them. A few of my students TP'd your choir room. You slashed the tires on the Range Rovers of all 26 of my performers. Those were gifts for our win at sectionals. That's 200 times 26 times 4 equals... I don't have a calculator. I I'm sorry, you bought all your kids Range Rovers? We have a very active booster club. <sighs> Look, nobody got hurt. It was a harmless prank. That's what they said about a young man in Chicago in 1871 who thought he'd play a harmless prank on the dairy cow of one Mrs. O'Leary. He successfully ignited its flatulence in a city burned, William. That young terrorist went on to become the first gay president of the United States, Abraham Lincoln. Enough. These students have committed a felony. They are hereby expelled. Look, I don't want anyone to get expelled. I'm not going to press charges as long as you pay for the damage. You can take it out of the Glee Club budget. That'll bankrupt the Glee Club. We don't have that kind of money. We'll get jobs. Give us a month. We'll, we'll pay you back, Ms. Corcoran, I promise. Fine. Miss Corcoran, you are as wise and magnanimous as you are beautiful. Thank you. Well, you just can't win, can you, William? You never have and you never will. <laughs>